<laughs> I'm really happy to see you all. Um, I'm passionate about TED because it's a great place to share ideas with intelligent people and open-minded people uh, like you all. Uh, some of you have been here before, and luckily we have a bunch of new people as well. Now, there are CEOs, entrepreneurs, artists, educators, and family managers, to name but a few, and even some lawyers. And, of course, we have a lot more people in the, uh, uh, in the live stream audience. But enough about you all. Let's have a look at our speakers. So we had a bunch of speakers in the previous years, and uh, Roman Gauss from Urban Farmers, who wants to introduce farming into cities. He has a quote uh, about uh, TEDx Zurich and the effect it has on his organization. He says, through the presentation at TEDx, uh, we reached an international audience. Whereas before, we were a crazy Swiss startup with a national presence. Afterwards, we got inquiries from the USA, the Middle East, and Asia, which has paved the way for export opportunities. And of course, it's the dream of every TEDx speaker to be featured on TED.com as an official TED Talk. And Sebastian Wernicke, with his talk uh, about how to summarize a thousand TED Talks in six words, uh, did just that. And almost 500,000 views already. Uh, then we have Karen Tse. She spoke in 2010 uh, with her International Bridges to Ju uh, Justice organization. She wants to eradicate torture in the world, and she started a 12-year plan with her organization to ju do just that. She went on to speak at TED Global, and she got uh, coverage on, among others, CNN. So those are our speakers, and we're really proud of them, uh, but we are just one of many uh, TEDx's around the world who have gotten a license from the TED without the X, the original one, uh, so let's, let's have a look at some of the numbers. We just crossed the 5,000 mark of TEDx's uh, organized worldwide since 2009, so that's fairly uh, quick. And today, you could have gone to eight other TEDx's around the world. And this is actually a slow day. Normally there are more, but maybe you know, during the week or so, I don't know. You could have gone to Rwanda, or you could have been swinging uh, at a TEDx in uh, New Orleans. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm happy to, that you're, that you're uh, swinging with us today. So, all of these uh, TEDx's, they produce talks, videos, 20,000 already on the uh, YouTube channel with 55 million views, and 196 of them made it onto TED.com as official TED Talks, and those actually are almost at 100 million views so far. That's an enormous amount. Now, that's a lot of talking and a lot of listening uh, and a lot of discussion by intelligent people like you. Um, but of course, some people want to take action uh, with these things. And uh, here is a video of some, uh, with some examples of TEDx communities around the world in action. The TEDx community is connecting people and ideas, but there is this pressure that they'd like to take their next step. How do we now take these ideas and do something with them in our community? So we're now in the second year of a three-year program to increase the, the wellness of everybody in our community. Hundreds of micro-initiatives that will hopefully result in us all living to be 100 plus. Another TEDx organizer launched a, a nonprofit called Queen City Forward, bringing social entrepreneurs to the forefront. She spoke about how software development is like a dance. It was a beautiful metaphor. That was the trigger for him to do it. And he did start his own consulting firm. He invented a 100 mile per gallon automobile from scratch using software development technologies and techniques. They were one of the competitors in the Automotive X Prize. Just the matter of fact that you do this, that you go on stage and you talk about an idea. It's so strong and so fascinating, and it gives hope. I think it really gives hope to people that change is possible. So I'm looking forward what action comes out of this community. Thank you. Thank you.